Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share one uh, value of quality management project in Power BI. Uh, let's first understand the data set. So let's see the data set first. Here we have these uh, three years of data of the quality management of this MDIC company. So uh, here uh, we have the data for the year one, year two, year three. Okay. So uh, here we have given some KPIs also. Uh, distribution of value cost over time, COPQ, as percentage of revenues, percentage change for last period, and here some uh, for format for uh, like a template for the dashboard for the ideas. Okay, uh, or we can add our own also. So here, uh, like a total failure cost by month, distribution of total failure cost over time. Failure cost breakdown by percentage of total three year cost. Uh, let's uh, see the data. So this is the data of this MDIC company for the year one. Here are some uh, this some uh, variables are there like cost category, action, superset category, cost name, cost description, sites, products, and these all are the months Jan, Feb, March and this is the quarter one total and months and their cost okay and uh, this all months and the quarter one quarter two and quarter three total and the total annual cost okay so uh, uh yeah these are three uh, all three years contain the same same type of variables the data uh, is changed so let's move towards the power bi and understood project okay so let's see the data uh, by so let's how to import the data uh, for the importing of the data we can import the data from here by uh, click on click on the get data in the home ribbon and then uh, as uh, this is my excel file i have imported by using this excel workbook okay uh, after clicking this we need to select this uh, data and uh, open it uh, and then uh, uh, we have to see the data in this so here uh, we have report table and the modeling view so here we can see the tables present in our data so here we have three uh, years of the data so as uh, we can see in the our uh, source data set i have did some transformation here uh, like see here i have added the months column and here i have merged all the months and the cost okay so here we can see we have a different months in the different different columns so i combined them and uh, i put it in the same column the next is the cost uh, and the month uh, this is the cost for this all the months uh, i have did uh, this transformation for all the sheets like all the data of year one year two we can see for year two i have did this i have changed the data types wherever i required you can see this is the cost and this is the months all together okay and then for year three i have did the same uh, so i have did this all transformation in the power bi power query only so there are uh, so many etl tools we can use that also or we can do in excel also but i have did in power query so here i also combine this uh, month uh, months and the cost okay uh, that thing i have to do for this only i did the unpivoting of the columns like uh, i selected this these all the columns of the months and then i did unpivot of the columns in the power query okay so let's see the dash dashboard here i have analyzed some uh, things wise months and the cost name so here uh, in this uh, slicer this is the slicer we can take from this visualization pane and here it is the slicer and in this slicer uh, we we have to add the column like one field so i have added the months uh, so that we can see the data uh, as per the months 
if we required and this is the slicer for the cost name so we can see the uh, the, the dashboard as per the cost name also okay and uh, this chart show, shows the this is the clustered bar chart here from here i have taken and here i have analyzed the uh, cost by months and the product so we can see the data uh, by by months and the product so here the in the legend i have added the product so here uh, one two three pro products are there and this uh, fourth products is contains uh, the all the product uh, in one okay so we can see in the january we are having the more number of products and their cost uh, like cost by the products and the months in the january we have maximum number of cost by the products we can analyze likewise for the all months okay uh, and the next uh, these these uh, quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four amounts are there so i have added it by uh, these cards i have taken the video cards from this visualization pane and uh, here i have added the you know this quarter one quarter two total from the data set okay next is the cost by cost name so we can see this is the pie chart from this visualization pane and here i have analyzed the cost uh, name by their cost so we can see we are having the more number of more uh, maximum of this cost is by cost name or you can sorting we can we can here put move our mouse here and you can see the cost name is rework and sorting at the company's manufacturing facilities this is costing the 19.95 percentage okay and the next is the this donut chart okay so here we can see the cost by superset so there are some supersets also we can see maximum number of cost by superset uh, is having the internal failure cost okay it's in the 51 percentage next chart is showing is the cost by months and the sites so there are some sites also uh, sites are uh, plant one plant two plant three plant four plant five and these all are the combined plants meaning total so we can see we are having the uh, more number of the plants in the january month cost of the plants cost of the sites in the january month and the less in the december and here we added the uh, cost by category so here we can see the cost is uh, more for, from the complaints category 35.6 percent is let's move towards the second year here also the same uh, same type of the data is here like column wise is the same but value is changed so we can see here i also added the slicer for months and the cost name and here this is the cost by months and the product for second year here also uh, we can see here in the july month the product one is having the more cost right and uh, uh, likewise we can analyze this for all the months uh, second one is the total annual cost by sites so this is the pie chart and uh, here we can see the plant uh, three plant three is having the more cost by others uh, these are all are the amounts for quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four for the second year this is the cost by action so there are two types of action reactive and the proactive uh, for the reactive uh, action the more number of the cost is there and if for proactive it's a less number of the cost okay uh, we can see this next cost by superset for the second year this is the donut chart from uh, taken from here here are some supersets are there and uh, the more number of the it is from the internal failure cost okay more number of the cost okay next one is the cost by months and the products here we can see uh, we have three products and uh, in the july month there is more number of the uh, cost this is the gauge for the cost so 1.86k is the cost okay move towards the third year 
uh, we can see here also i have analyzed the cost by month and the product and here in the january uh, the product 3 is having the more number of the cost uh, here also i did the slicers for the months and the product so we can analyze the data by using uh, by particular product also by by creating the filter okay and uh, these all are the amounts for the quarters next is the cost by site so here uh, we can see it is showing the cost by site so we are having the uh, sites plants 5 and here uh, the more number of the cost is from the plant 5 yes next one is the cost by superset and here we are having the cost more cost by internal failure cost same like year 1 and year 2 uh, uh, if you like my video do subscribe my channel and uh, this is the cost by months and the products so this is uh, having the product 1 product 2 and product 3 and uh, january is having the 116 it is means by uh, the more number of the cost is by uh, by having the january month cost by cost mean we can see here this rework and sorting at the company's manufacturing facilities labor and the material plant is having the more number of the cost as compared to others okay so this i have added the buttons here in the visual in the report so we can see i have if i click on this i jump towards the year one data dashboard then i if i click on this arrow button here i have jumped on the year second data so here i have added the both for year one this and the for year three this okay so this is the my dashboard if you like please do subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching